Hello, today I'm going to show you how to build an automated flow that will send an email which contains a picture, like a logo for example, um, or any picture that you like. Uh, it sounds simple, but if you Google for how to do this you'll find about 10 different methods um, and about half of those don't work, some of them are outdated. Um, but this is the method that works for me and I think it's probably the quickest method, so uh, let's dive in. So the first thing I've done is I've taken the logo, the picture that I want to include in the emails and I've uploaded it to a SharePoint document library. You could do this to a OneDrive folder, that also works, but for this demo we're going to use SharePoint. So I've dumped it in there, there's my file. And we're going to go into Power Automate. And I'm just going to create a blank, blank flow. And this one's just going to be an instant cloud flow manually trigger and create okay so the first thing we want to do is to get the file contents um, and there is one of these for uh, OneDrive if you're using OneDrive but we're going to use the SharePoint one so you can get file content or you can get file content using path both essentially do the same thing as far as this is concerned um, so the site address is my SharePoint site and then the file itself and it's in here. Okay, so we've got the file. And the next thing we're going to do is kind of convert that into a, a format that we can use within the email. Okay, so we're going to use the compose action. And within here, we're going to use the expression data UR, URI. Um, and what this is going to do essentially is convert our, our picture into a string of letters and numbers that it that it can use we, we don't really need to understand how it does it but we just need to know that it works so data URI and then we're going to feed it our dynamic contents so I've clicked in between the brackets there and I'm going to put the file content okay to that okay that's our compose so one more step we need to do <coughs> before it can go into the email it needs to be in HTML format. Now you can build this within the email itself, but what I like to do is to initialize a variable and I'm going to build it in there and then we can reuse this variable wherever we like. So this is going to be my logo and it's a string variable. So within here, now this is where the magic happens. So the expression we're going to use is concat and concat those uh, some of you will know strings things together so uh, we can give it a number of things and it's going to put them all together into one long string um, as long as they're wrapped within these single quotes okay so the first bit of information we're going to feed it is the start of our HTML tag and it's going to be an image and the image source equals and then we do a double quotes because that's the part of the HTML tag and then we're ending that tag there we do a comma and then here we're going to put our, our image itself but I'll come back to that so I'm just going to uh, leave, it, leave a gap for now and then I'll put the final piece of our HTML which looks like this so we wrap it again in single quotes and it's going to be double quote to close off this double quote and then we're going to do alt equals whatever you'd like the alt to be and then close our HTML tag wrap it in single quotes close the brackets and that's it and we just need to put our content in here and our content is this compose the outputs from that okay so that's the full, full expression new step send that as an email and we'll just we'll send that to whoever's triggered the the flow user email and test testing logo and in here I'm just going to click the code view to go to the HTML view of it uh, and overwrite those with my logo give that a save and that's it I'll test it out Go manually. And done. And what should happen is I should receive an email 
with that picture in line not as a not as an attachment but actually embedded there it is okay nice and simple give it a try <laughs>